Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to French braid your bangs like this. You know, for the longest time, I thought you can only braid your bangs when you have like long bangs, like at least up to here, so you can integrate your bangs with the rest of your hair. But actually, um, you can also French braid your bangs when you have short bangs like I do. Like if you have seen my previous videos, you know how short my bangs are. They're just up here, right above my brows. So you can do it. Um, French braided bangs are not something I'm crazy about because I have pretty rounded face. So when I put my bangs up there, my face looks like really big. But um, I mean, it's a really interesting experiment and I hope it helps you guys who have short bangs but also want to have braids to suction your hair. You want to have a really big chunk of bangs like this. And I like to have my bangs going to the left because I'm right-handed and it's easy to braid that way, but it's really up to you. Okay, so we section our bang like this. Uh, it's flexible, you don't have to stick to the lines you made here, but uh, it just gives you a sense like where you should go to. Okay, so um, I like to use some sort of hair product such as uh, hair gel. This is a very light hair gel to kind of um, run my fingers through my hair to make it more manageable. But it's not really up to you, okay. So, uh, this is our bangs, and you pick a section from the middle, cool, and then a section from the front, and make this section lay over this one in the middle, and you pick a one from behind, from the back here, and then lay that over, and keep doing the same thing while adding new hair from both the front and the back. Okay. So you want to do it rather tightly. You can always adjust the braid, but if you make it too loose, um, it's really hard to adjust at the end. Okay. Uh, when you reach to this point, it really depends on you where you want to go for the rest of the hair because you can either make it um, in the front or behind your ears. I'd like to make it behind my ears so I'm just going to braid um, going to the back. And we reach this point, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're doing a French braid or not so you can just do a regular braid like this. And then you use your hairband to tie it up. Yeah, I look really weird. But we're not done yet. So um, you can adjust your bangs now. Usually I use my index finger and push it inside the bang. And let the bangs go upward. See it? And then you can do more with the hair in the back. Okay, so you can work more on the back of your hair and also it gives your hair more volume. Yeah. Actually, I don't like hairspray, but I really recommend you to spray your hair because um, if you have short bangs, um, they tend to fall off. So I'm just going to use a little bit. Okay. So don't touch it because um, the spray is working with your hair right now. So just a little bit for a second. And as for how you can deal with this thing here, what I usually do is that I push it behind my ears and I use two bobby pins to secure it. Um, there is one here. You just pin up. Can I see it? Uh, like this. 
And then you need another one. Then you can use another one to go over it. So there is an X here. And then your hair is very much secured. And as for the rest of hair, you can either leave it like this or you can curl it or you can um, like put them up so that you have more volume in the back. But it's really up to you. And okay, this is how you braid your bangs. I hope you guys like it and see you guys later. Bye.